Before getting into the lab, let's talk about some guidelines that you can follow when troubleshooting WebRTC applications. This is important because finding that your WebRTC app is not working with a specific version of Chrome is not an uncommon issue. This is because new features are constantly added, implementation is improved, and bugs are fixed. All these changes may impact SDP or any other port or any other part of the WebRTC implementation. So, where to start? The first thing to look at is the SSL certificates. WebRTC requires a valid SSL connection to work. So make sure that there is a valid SSL certificate protecting the domain. If everything's good with the certificate, check the codec used. Not all browsers support all codecs. Currently, the most popular video codecs are BP8, BP9, and H.264. Safari browser only support the latter. Once you discard a codec issue, take a look at the eye stats to see if there's something strange. You'll also want to keep up to date with the progress on WebRTC features adoption across all major browsers. To do so, here you have a couple of links that will help you to determine if a specific browser is capable to do the task you're testing. And that's pretty much for this lesson. When you're ready for the lab, move to the next lesson.